All right, you guys, we're going to try this one more time, and we're going to start with the first rule of logarithms, and we're going to call that the multiplication rule of logs. And I have it written here for you. It says that when you take the log, um, any base, of two numbers, it can be written as the log same base of one of those numbers plus the log same base of those other numbers. Um, and again, I want you to understand that this representation right here is just an exponent. So log base b of m, right? Your b and your your m together are representation of an exp exponent. And this isn't really going to be a proof that I'm going to show you, but we are going to flesh it out and, and make sure that you can see this relates to the the multiplication rules of exponents. Logs are just exponents. So let's start off like this. Let's start off with a number 2. All right. We'll say that's to the third power. And remember, if we multiply by 2, uh, let's pick to the fourth power here. Um, and we remember that that is 2 to the 3 plus 4. Right? You keep the base and add the exponents, which gives you two to the seventh. And if you've kept your notes, I've given you on two occasions last year and this year, I've given you some pretty good notes on all the exponent rules. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you this log rule up here using just these exponents. So I'm going to write a, a logarithm with this base that shows you that exponent. So two to the third power is eight. So the log base 2 of 8 represents that 3. All right. And just to model this rule, instead of writing another log, we'll just talk about right the log base 2 of 16 represents that 4. So here we have we have a log multiplication of two numbers, a log of two numbers multiplied together. And if we follow that rule here, it should be the same as the log base 2 of one of those numbers, 8. We'll go ahead and put that in parentheses so it models what it looks like up top. And log base 2 of 16. All right. And again, this really isn't going to be a proof, but it will show you that this, this rule up here works in a real situation. So I'm going to go ahead and we will write this one more time and instead of doing 8 times 16 we will show what that product actually is 8 times 6 is 48 carry that 4 and um, 8 times 1 is 8 plus that 4 is 128 so there's 8 times 16 right here and we'll rewrite this and then we'll go ahead and show you the answers to those logs show you that this rule really works. Okay. And hopefully I had enough time to do this in class, but we can make it ready available to you here as too. So here we go. I'll use a little tally marks to um, help us to compute this. You could plug this in your calculator, but most of us can multiply by 2 pretty quickly. So we got 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128, not my best mark there. But I can see here's 5 and 2. So log base 2 of 128 would give us the exponential answer. It, it's 7. So we know 2 to the 7th is 128. And I'm going to come over here. Real quick tally. 2, 4, 8. Log base 2 of 8 is going to be an answer of 3. And log base 2 of 16 would be one more, right? 2, 4, 8, 16 would be an answer of 4. We can definitely see that um, 7 is the same as 3 plus 4 over here. So that just kind of shows that this rule that we have up here at the top works. Now let's go ahead and tie them together. I can see that the multiplication of any number with the same base and different exponents, I can keep the base and add them together. Well, this is saying the same thing. Here's the multiplication of two exponents, right? Um, base 2, 8 would be that 3. Base 2, 16 would be that 4 is the same as the sum of them two, all right, of those two logs. So this, once again, is an exponent. 
and this once gets the exponent. Let's say it one more time, right? If we're multiplying same base, different numbers, we keep the base and add those exponents. Well, here we are, multiplying same base. Those two exponents, the multiplication of those, is going to be same base, and we're adding the exponents, and we can see that that works out here. And I think that's going to be about it, kind of a demonstration. Of, and hopefully you will do your homework and stay on top of this. Thanks a lot.